Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to use React Cosmos, which is basically a more modern looking alternative to React Storybook, which therefore makes it component based. So a way to make your app build up from multiple separate components or to create a component library. So let's take a look at how to implement React Cosmos. So as you can see, I've already prepared a little VS Code session here with um, a normal create React app prefab. And to get started, we're just going to go npm install React Cosmos. This will basically just, first of all, install us the dependency for React Cosmos and also all the tools we might need to get it running. So now it's installed and we first of all need to head to our package JSON to actually add the script we need for everything to work the way we intend it to. So the way that uh, that is going to work is we're going to go into scripts and after eject, we're going to add another one, which is Cosmos. And this couldn't be easier, basically, because the script we need to do is just called Cosmos. So now we could open our terminal again and hit npm run Cosmos. And that should open us a Cosmos session on localhost 5000, as you can see right here. So let's just try that real quick. Localhost 5000. And as you can see, we've got React Cosmos right here. Hide the screen. And yeah, that's it. Now it explains to us how to do all of this. So either you create a fixtures directory or you work with fixtures files. I'm going to go with fixtures files because I like these. But before we can do that, we actually need to add a Babel config because um, React Cosmos is not going to use the normal React config, unfortunately. We need to create a .babelrc and that .babelrc file is going to contain the following reset config which is this one so basically telling it hey you can use um, react in basically any file because now we are gonna head right into coding basically by adding a new file called test.fixture.js and now that file is gonna export default an object actually and that object is gonna have a primary key for now and that primary key will just return an h1 containing the word primary. So this will basically be our first component. And if we now add to React Cosmos and reload, we're going to see, OK, React is not defined. Why is that? Well, in these kind of files, you actually can just use React. You need to import it, even though you aren't really referencing it anywhere. This is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, necessary. So let's just do that. Add back to Chrome, and as you can see, here is our little test file because our file was called test.fixture.js. It's called test right here. Now we can head in here and you can see here is our primary component. And yeah, the children are just the text primary. And yeah, you could actually overwrite this if you wanted to. But oftentimes it of course doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is basically the part where you can change props and all that stuff to take a look at what your component would look like in that case. So now we can of course add uh, more options like, for example, a secondary. And uh, that, of course, doesn't need to be a component. It could, of course, also be a function that returns something, like an H1 called secondary. This does have its drawbacks, though, because, as you saw, primary has this children's props, which can be changed. Secondary doesn't, because it's just a function that returns this um, H1 tag, and therefore, yeah, React Cosmos can't find out what it could uh, adjust here. There are, of course, ways to allow it to adjust something. Like if we wanted to create a component here, a little function test, which takes in props, and then it would turn an h1 with a content of props.title. And now if we just said, okay, our um, props element, for example, would just return test title equals a and if we now head to here you can see okay here's props and now we would be able to adjust the title again which is kind of nice there are two more ways that you could do this though because sometimes you will have a component that you need to wrap something around like a view or whatever and you want to adjust the view but um that of course not doable using these um attributes right here because yeah those aren't part of the <laughs> exported component so the way you would do that is using another tool called useValue, which
which is basically a custom hook that um, was added using React Cosmos. And we can import it first of all. So import use value from React Cosmos slash fixture. And now we basically have a little custom component right here and we can say, okay, const value, add value equals use value. And use value will take in two props. First of all, a name. And second of all, an object with a few variables you can set. For example, the default value. And in our case, that default value is just going to be the number eight. And now we can just say, okay, our component returns an h1 containing the value. You could, of course, also add buttons to use the set value thing right here. But yeah, this is enough to basically get it running. So if we now hit value, you can see here we got a name that we set. And yeah, it's currently set to eight. We could also set it to something different. It is type sensitive, so you can now only put numbers in there. So name wasn't as fitting. But anyway, now let's get to the last one which in my opinion is actually the coolest one for this little use case, which is use select. And use select is really similar to use value, as in it also manages state that you can set in your app, but it's actually not gonna allow two values to be put in here, but just one. And yeah, it's gonna get a name. And the other thing it's gonna get is a set of options. And these options will be an array. And that array is going to contain, uh, contain the different options this value state or this select state can have. So option A, B, e, and C. And now this looks really similar to the other one. But the difference is if we now head to use select, we can actually select between these options, which would be handy if, for example, you had a button that had uh, multiple variants, like an outlined one, a filled in one, a differently colored one, or a disabled one. And you could just select these options in here, which would also be really handy in my opinion. As you can see, this is really nice for just testing components. It even allows you to go into a mobile view of different devices so that you don't need to open it in a new tab or whatever. I really like React Cosmos, especially compared to Storybook. Sure, Storybook has some other cool tools, but yeah, this looks a lot more modern. And yeah, it's basically another option for you to develop your components separate from your app. And Having multiple options is always nice because it creates competition. So, I hope you can use this. I'm certainly going to use it for something in the future. And yeah, I'm really interested in this. Tell me what you think about it. And also, I hope you're going to have a good day.